Are you guys in need of any Mutt Coins? Look no further than MrMuttCoin.com. They got coins on all platforms, and prices are way down right now. Go check it out. Use code Ryan for 15% off. And also be sure to check out UT Grinders for all your solo challenge, head-to-head, -head, and binder clearing needs. Twitter.com slash UT Grinders. Guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to fast forward these packs. So we're going to do a little bit of story time here. Yes, the pools that I got will be live. This, however, I was being super negative. I wanted to keep it in there, but I also didn't at the same time because... You know, I, I didn't want to seem like a dick because how badly I was trashing on the pulls that I was getting. Uh, I pulled every single Legend Fantasy pack with coins. So 90k for each pack. I went ahead and did it. I went ahead and spent damn near a million coins ripping these Legend Fantasy packs to no avail. I did not get anything. So a little bit of a spoiler warning on that. I did not get anything. However, the title of the video does say, Greatest Pack in Mutt History, or Best Pack in Mutt History, or The Single Greatest Pack in Mutt History, or I'm going, I'm gonna go to Vegas and put all my money on black, or, you know, some dumb meme that, you know, will make people want to click on the video, but I think it's justified. I don't, I don't even think it's clickbait. I really don't think it's clickbait. I think this is one of the best packs you can have in Madden uh, 18 and, uh, you know, kind of like for what's in the game right now and what coins are valued at in this game and everything, like, yeah, you could have a better pool in like Madden 13, maybe last year, I'm not sure, uh, but, you know, Madden 13, like if you were to pull like a 9 million, 10 million coin card, um, back then coins were not coins were not like at the price tag like in the black market as they are now um so if you get a, a pack like i got here after these legend fantasy packs then you're looking at a pretty big like if, if you like go back and you say okay how much would this relate to a madden 13 um i would almost damn near say like 13 14 million madden 13 in one pack that's how crazy it was uh so right there that's our only really good hit of the Legend Fantasy Packs with Herschel Walker. I know I'm being cryptic right now. I know I'm maybe kind of annoying you uh, by doing this. I'm just trying to get through this part so you can see, you know, what I was getting uh, out of 1 million coins worth of packs. I'm sure a lot of people did this. They made it so that you could buy the Legend Packs with coins. And a lot of people wasted almost every single last ounce of their uh, coin bank on pulling these Legend Packs and not getting a damn thing. Um, obviously, me as well. Got nothing. And it's kind of upsetting. It really is. It's kind of upsetting to see what you can get uh, with coins versus what you can get with money. And I know it's not the same for everybody. I know some people may have pulled Mel Blunt. Um, some people may have pulled, you know, whatever uh, with coins out of these packs. Maybe you got really, really lucky right there. That Mike Singletary could have been a Mel Blunt, uh, but it ended up being obviously an 88 overall, like 10K Mike Singletary. Not exactly what we're looking for. Um, so definitely. I could see why people would be, uh, you know, happy with their coin purchase instead of, like, actually putting money into the game. You know, you could definitely make a lot of coins if you got lucky. Now, we're four packs away. Again, I, I was really, like, almost considering, like, not even uploading this video um, at the time when I was doing this. Because I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm wasting coins. This is the dumbest decision I've ever made. Uh, I was just picking random cards. That's how upset I, I, how upset I was. Uh, we got Patrick Chung in 92. So that's actually not a bad pool. Definitely not a bad pull right there, and a Ryan Shazier, so, I mean, it's not like everything was completely terrible, but I did not make my coins back, not one inch, I made my coins back with these, and, uh, you know, it, it's all gonna come together, it, it, like, this is, like, one of those things, like, if you ever listen to, like, a song that's talking about, like, you know, like, started from the bottom, and then you got to that point, like, started from the bottom, now we're here, like, this is that type of song, this is, like, a slow, building, um, epic beat drop, like, video <laughs> to show you how bad Madden packs can be versus how good they can be. So we're having, like I said, one of the worst experiences ripping 10 million or 1 million. I said 10 million. One of the worst experiences ripping 1 million uh, coins by the packs um, that I've ever had compared to 
buying a pack for fifty dollars i know it's crazy a pack for fifty dollars but um i just had to test it i just see like why coins with packs were terrible versus coin or uh packs with money are so much better uh, in terms of what people have always said, like you get better pulls if you buy with money versus if you buy with coins. I know I just got a 91 overall Michael Vick there. Uh, at the time, currently he's like 80k. Um, so I think if I spent like a million, I probably got like 200, 300k back, which you know isn't like completely terrible. It's not as bad as I'm making it seem, um, but definitely like that's still a 700k loss. That's not what i want that's not what anyone wants no one wants to put that many coins into packs and get that little in return and i know you're not supposed to make a profit every time you rip like a million coins worth of packs you're not always going to make a profit but you're not supposed to lose like 700k that's absolutely blasphemous that is crazy but now guys it is time we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the live commentary that i had and it's going to sound a little bit depressing at the beginning because i was still a little bit upset uh, but here we go, get ready, best pack Madden history. Like, I just, I don't even know why I'm even doing this, but we're gonna do it. Five, <laughs> 5,800 points, almost $60 worth of a pack here. And five rounds, you get four picks remaining. I haven't even seen anyone open these packs. Like, none of my friends on Skype, uh, not a lot of people on Twitter that I know. Um, some people have gotten good pulls out of these, but mostly I'm just seeing a lot of people very, very upset that they're only getting 88 overall Ultimate Legends, and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen to me, so uh, if you don't see this video, you don't see it, but more than likely for, you know, spending 50 bucks on a pack, like $60 on a pack, I'm probably going to upload it regardless, um, but, you know, maybe not, I'm not sure. I, I don't even know what I want to do right now, like... I've already wasted like a million coins. We're putting $50 into the game. Now I'm doing something I said I was not going to do, but I'm doing it for you guys because I really want to test this out. Uh, so round three of five, we have three picks remaining in this round. Um, again, I'm probably just going to go ahead and take the golds. I've been saying it all video. You take the golds, not the elites, because the golds are currently going for way more than the elites. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take Michael Schofield, Terrence West, and Pai Tainichki, and get out of there. Round four of five. Uh, I guess this is where you can get a whole bunch of different elites. Uh, more than likely, what we're getting, 80, 80, 82, 86 Shannon Sharp, and a 94 Michael Vick! Why do I complain? Why do I complain? Because when we complain, when we complain, EA, hand you can pick two? You can pick two? Okay. EA hands you the keys to the city. We got 94 Michael Vick. I'm not even sure how much that's going for. I know it's a little bit over a mil. So I'm happy about that. This is where we get our ultimate legends here. Ken Houston, Jerome Bettis, 88. Pretty much what I... Yes! Let's go! No point! We got... Wait a second, guys! We got Mel... Bl Wait. Hold on. We got Mel Blunt. We got Mel Blunt and Michael Vick. 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 Mel Blunt and and Michael Vick, Mel Blunt, and Michael Vick, in the same pack, in the same pack, we got Mel Blunt and Michael Vick, and we can take two out of this round, we're taking Mel, and we're taking Ken, and we're getting up out of here, guys, look at this recap, we got Mel, we got Vick, we got Shannon, we got Ken Houston, Scomo, Scomo, if you're watching this video, in between Mike Vick and Mel Blunt, we got Shannon. We got Shannon. You know what that means? Get the pancakes. Get the goddamn pancakes. Let's go, baby. That has to be one of the best packs in the game. Wow. And don't forget the bonus video where we go ahead and take a look at what Mike Vick is going for, 1.97 million coins for Michael Vick, 1.97 million, so that's 2 million, that's 2 million, just off one, just off one pool, now let's go ahead and take a look at Mel Blunt, that's 1.97, we're gonna go ahead and say it's 2, it's 2 mil, why not, say it's 2 mil, and we got an 800k Mel Blunt, so we're looking at 2.8 
million coins. 2.8 million coins in one pack. That's not counting the Ken Houston. That's not counting the Shannon Sharp. We probably had a 3 million coin pack. We probably had a 3 million coin pack. You got to be kidding me. These are the attributes of the Mel Blunt. By the way, guys, we are no longer live. What you just watched was a live reaction. This is now post-commentary. We got 94 speed. We got 96 Excel, 95 man, all that nice stuff. It wasn't on the screen long enough for me to even give you guys the full attributes. Hopefully, you guys saw it. But this is the bonus video, guys. This is the pack directly after. I had to go ahead and rip one more. Check the amount of contracts we have in the previous pool compared to this pool. It's the same exact contracts. It's the next pack in the Ultimate Fantasy Pack, Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. I decided to rip one more. We got Julia Ladai. We got CJ Procise. We got Jason Taylor. Boo. But guess what, guys? <coughs> Another Mel Blunt. Another Mel Blunt. You are got Like, that's it. That's it for me. I'm retiring from Madden for the year. I don't need to pull anything anymore. I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to Vegas. I'm putting all my money on black. Or maybe, maybe put it on red. You know what? I'll put all my money on green. I'll put all my money on the double, double zero, you know, zero, whatever it's called. I'm putting it all on the hardest thing ever because what more can you get in Madden? What more can you get in Madden? I know a lot of people are going to say YouTubers get juice packs. They're going to say up and down that EA favors YouTubers and, you know, people have, like, contracts with EA or something like that to get better pulls. Um, I personally, I'm being dead honest with you, I do not. I have no ties with EA. I'm not friends with anybody at EA. Well, besides a couple of people, uh, but I'm not going to name them because I don't want them to probably get in trouble because I sponsor coins and whatnot. But I am not affiliated with EA in any way. Uh, but... Two Mel Blunts, a Michael Vick. YouTubers get juice packs.